Recently, we did a video with the new 9000 series of thread rippers, which are now available at your local micro center. Yeah, we installed the 9965WX, which is a 24 core, 48 thread CPU. So we've got plenty of power for AI workloads. And we paired that off with not one, but two 5090s. Now you guys have been asking us, well, how does this machine perform? And Jacob's been testing it out. Yeah, actually, uh, we just put in the 120B chat GPT that they open source and it runs beautifully. Roughly 37 tokens per second, uh, which bad. is pretty good considering it's 120 billion parameters. That's a big model. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna upgrade this guy because now at Micro Center, we have the new NVIDIA RTX Pro 6000. <laughs> But we have the RTX Pro 6000 and the 6000 Max-Q, which is what I have here. This has 96 gigabytes of GDDR7 VRAM, ECC, Yeah, right? so we're not flipping any bits here. Right, <laughs> and this runs on 300 watts, which is absolutely nuts because yeah. you could stack multiple of these and it's pretty energy efficient. That's actually really impressive. It's like adding another 5090s worth of VRAM and only taking a quarter of the power. Right, because the two 5090s that we're running here combined, you're getting what, 1200 watts? Mm -hmm. And it's only 64 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory. Yeah. Now, yeah, quarter of the power and a whole extra 5090 worth of VRAM. That's nuts. Yeah. That's not, it's just nuts. It's a lot. All right. so. We're going to take out the 5090s from here. Okay. We're going to upgrade this guy and we're going to try out some local AI workloads. Sounds good. Let's go. Okay, so Jacob's been testing this machine out a bit. Tell me a little bit about what you've been up to. Yeah, so I actually, I, I wanted to originally install Proxmox on this machine, uh, but I kept running into driver issues. Proxmox was fine, but as soon as I had an Ubuntu VM, it, it would pick up that there is a device and it would install the drivers, but I couldn't get any actual uh, workload out of the drivers. Oh, really? So yeah, I, I tried running NVIDIA SMI, which if you're not familiar with Linux, is just a way to see what your GPU is doing in the command line. Uh, and it would just say that it can't communicate with the device. So then we installed Windows after I fiddled with that for like two days. Uh, which I just is, kept telling him to install Windows and he was yeah, like, no, no, no. I, I had to try, I like Linux, uh, but once we installed Windows, it was a breeze and we got Olama and uh, LM Studio, I almost forgot the name of the, oh, the, yeah. opera, the app. Uh, but we got both of those installed really fast. And then we ha actually have this running as a server. So we have uh, open web UI looking at this so we can access this from anywhere in our studio's network, which is really fun. But this thing is a beast. I have never used a local AI that has been this powerful and fast. And we're going to upgrade it, which is just insane. Uh, we did run into a small, I wouldn't say it's a problem. It was running beautifully, but some of the uh, model had to overflow into our actual system memory, right. which will slow down things if you have to access those parameters. Because we didn't have enough uh, VRAM, right? Yeah, so the, the 120B is actually 64 gigabytes of VRAM, or it needs 64 gigs, which sounds like it would be perfect with two 5090s, but the 5090 is, it, it was reading at like 31.8 gigs. So mm -hmm. a little bit of spillover, not very right. much. Whoop. All right, so on the table before we had the A4500 up, but here is our RTX Pro 6000. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Yeah. It's got this, this mirror is... finish, which I already got a little greasy. I'll wipe that off. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, as a photographer, uh, that was hard to shoot, but. <laughs> <laughs> Reflective things aren't that hard to photograph. You just gotta uh, be really prepared. Yeah. <laughs> um, so 300 watt power draw, mm -hmm. right? This has 3,500 AI tops. The RTX Pro 6000 That's has 4,000. It's 4,000 AI tops. Yeah. But you're still getting the same memory at a lower power draw. So yeah. Balancing out performance versus power draw. If you're looking for a multi-GPU workstation, something like this, where you're really just gonna cram it in, mm -hmm. this is kind of the way to go, to yeah. be perfectly honest. Yeah, because you can use multi-GPUs with the uh, Cube Max. Mm -hmm. One little fan here. It's a blower style cooler, which yeah. is awesome. And then you have your like 12 volt two by six right over yeah, here. Yeah, I believe so. So honestly, this is gonna be, <laughs> this is a super simple install. I mean, that's it, we're already yeah. done. Now, uh, before on the table, we had the A4500. 
Yeah. And I'm thinking we can also try adding that to oh, the yeah. pool because that's going to give us another 20 gigabytes of yeah, ECC I, VRAM. I think it should be the same drivers for those, or at least similar drivers. So okay. let's try it. Yeah, we can give that a shot because LM Studio allows you to pool multiple GPUs. And while there is some performance loss, it does leverage all that VRAM. And that's kind of the most important thing there. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why we had two 5090s. And even though they were different partner cards, it still worked all the same. And those are just the ones that we had readily available because I'm not going to buy two Astrals. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we already, already spent a lot of budget on this one card. So. <laughs> But hopefully we'll get another one in, because then with two of these, 96 times two, oh my goodness. Yeah, that that's a lot of that's a lot of VRAM. What was that 192, right? That's that's yeah. nuts. I'm just trying to get the angle of this screw. There we go. Nice. Um, do you want to just start with the RTX 6000 first, yeah. and let's then we go can plug and that one that. in later? Yeah. Because uh, we can just let's get this one situated. Install super easy and. We just made our case way lighter than yeah. it was before. <laughs> it's like 10 pounds lighter at least. So the power supply we're using, it was a 2,500 watt Silverstone uh, power supply. The Hella edition, I think is what it was. Yeah. And obviously you need, you know, that much overhead when you're running multiple GPUs and a system as power hungry as this is. You know, yeah. it's a workstation that's meant to consume power. But with that Threadripper uh, paired with the 25090s, I mean, you're looking at 1200 watts plus another, it was getting up there. I think the TDP for the Threadripper, bef if you don't overclock it, is like 400 watts, mm -hmm. like roughly. So, you know, it's quite a bit. Yeah. Now, power efficiency, we basically just shaved off 900 watts. Yeah. We could replace the uh, power supply, but I, that's a lot of work. I don't really want to do it right now. No, it's fine. But. <laughs> I'm actually interested in trying this out in just one of our regular machines. Oh yeah. J just for funsies. Just not to for, see what happens. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but just for fun, I think it would be kind of interesting. So, all right, I got this guy all plugged in. This is looking kind of okay to me. Yeah. All right. Let's boot her. Let's get it running. You bring the monitor over and I will get this up. I'm going to leave it open. That's probably a good um, idea. All right, GPU's in, fire up. Yeah, let's boot her. It's a lot quieter than it's a it lot was. quieter. Yeah. yeah. Now, obviously, we were never going to keep the system running with the 25090s sandwich like that. Yeah, that, it, it was, it's not a lot of cooling. <laughs> it's really just for demonstrative purposes and for us to sort of tinker around with some AI stuff. But since um, OpenAI dropped a new model this week and we got this in this week, it just seemed like a good opportunity to mess around with some new things going on. Oh, yeah. Uh, now, while this is booting, and I think memory training is definitely going to take a minute. Um, do keep in mind that it is limited inventory on the RTX 6000. So check microcenter.com for inventory and availability. Another thing to keep in mind is we will have a power spec SKU available in the near future that will be a workstation similar to this and it will feature an RTX 6000. So do stay tuned for that. We'll have some more information as that develops. But all in all, when it comes to building your own local AI workstation. Micro Center is your partner in that endeavor. So make oh, sure yeah. you check out what we have. We do have a lot of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have 95.5 gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory. That is a lot of VRAM. <whistles> All right, let's load up the OpenAI's GPT OSS 120B. Why don't we uh, go ahead and put a prompt in? Do you have a prompt? that you want to use, or do you want to pull from the prompt library? Uh, let's pull from the prompt library. Go to, yeah, just open up, uh, go to the Anthropic prompt library. I always like to use one of those. We're going to use one of the prompts from the Anthropic uh, prompt library. I mean, I just like pulling from these because they're all just kind of boilerplate, simple prompts, but they're a good way of just getting a good prompt to give you a lot of stuff instead of asking, like, what day is it? And then it'll just spit out just a generic answer. This is more hyper-specific. And it's also kind of nice for getting speed, uh, or at least measuring speed. Okay, so we got the model loaded, uh, full GPU offload. We are using 65.3 gigs. That is, that is so 
a lot. I see what you were saying with the 250-90s. There's just a little bit that had to be offloaded into system memory, which system memory is really fast, but GDDR is orders of magnitude faster. Right, that makes sense. And so 37 tokens per second, we have our system prompt here. This is from the Anthropic prompt library. So your task is create a one page website based on you know, HTML, blah, 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 blah. And there's a bunch of specifics here. All right, let's let her rip. And let's see what she's doing. Look at that. Wow. We are at 90% GPU utilization, and it is just spitting this out. That is insanely fast. Yeah, that response time at the beginning was a little bit slow, but now it seems like it's really going. Now, the real question is, you know, it, is anything it's spitting out correct? I don't know. I don't know I don't, that much about website design. I know, that's a whole other thing. But at the very least, whoa, 128 tokens per second. That is substantially faster. So I guess flowing into the RAM really did slow us down. So I've run into that before where the model is too big for the GPU and, and you get a big speed hit. Like yeah. you get a big speed hit. 128 tokens per second on a 120B model. And this is just the one GPU with the one Threadripper, 256 gigs of memory. I'll be interested to see if that actually remains just as high, because you had mentioned something earlier that kind of got me thinking is that the, the bifurcated PCIe lanes might actually be slowing you down if you have multiple GPUs. So there is a performance loss with uh, multiple GPUs sometimes, but it, I don't know, there's like a, there's a wide variety of factors that come into play and please comment below about yeah. some of those factors. Now, again, so a lot of this, what we're doing right now, this is really just for demonstrative purposes, uh, just to sort of get started here. Yeah. Um, Jacob's gonna take this and he's gonna do a couple of fun things for us. Yeah, I really, I'm really interested in trying to make our own local agents with N8N and uh, Olama or LM Studio. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, we're gonna do a follow-up video talking about that. 132 tokens per second, so. that's. Wicked fast. What was it on the other one? 128, 132. Okay, interesting. These are two different prompts, two different chats, two different things going on. Yeah. Uh, that's really, really, really fast. Uh, so for instance, when we were doing like the 4090 or the 5090, and this is like with the 8B models, we were getting like, we were getting 60s, 70s. Yeah, something like that. Um, we tried doing a 70B model, but it was like a Q4. That's when we were dropping down to like the 30s. Yeah. Um, this is really fast. This is, I'm very excited. So Jacob's gonna get this on our network. He's gonna create a portal for us to sort of have our own sort of agent that we're gonna have set up here that mm -hmm. we're gonna use to test out. There will be more follow-up videos on this subject very shortly, but all in all, we wanted to say that the RTX Pro 6000 is here at your local micro center. And when it comes to local AI, this is definitely the kind of hardware that you really want to get your hands on. Oh yeah. So remember to check microcenter.com to check availability of the RTX Pro 6000 at a microcenter near you. And if you don't have a microcenter near you, then be sure to comment hashtag I want a microcenter near me.